A recent article had stated that Sonic the Hedgehog is going to continuously be released on game consoles and they still have future Sonic the Hedgehog games coming out. And one of the things that keeps on coming to mind is, when are we actually going to get some good Sonic the Hedgehog games? And keep in mind that I've been one of the individuals out there that's constantly defending the series. And that's a trying task. One of the reasons why I defend the series is because everybody says that there is no good Sonic the Hedgehog games except for the originals. To which I always disagree. I always ask questions like, did you ever play the Sonic Rush games? Did you ever play the Sonic Advance games? Did you ever play Sonic Generations? Did you ever play Sonic Killers? Did you ever play the Sonic Racing games? And typically I get met with, well, no, because, and I just kind of stop them right there. But it's kind of hard to go and fault their logic due in part to things like Sonic and the Secret Rings, Sonic and the Black Knight, Sonic 06, Sonic Boom. Why the fuck is there so many bad games? Why the fuck did you think Sonic uh, Shadow the Hedgehog was a good idea? Why did you think that Sonic Freeriders was a good idea? Why, why do these things exist? And there's also bad, old bad Sonic the Hedgehog games, which I think people forget about. What about 3D Blast? Did you ever play Sonic Spinball? The game was pretty fucked up. You know, Sonic R for Sega Saturn? Again, fucked up. There's bad old Sonic the Hedgehog games. It just seems like lately, within the past two generations, there has been a lot more bad Sonic the Hedgehog games. I wonder, do you have to give the series a break, maybe? And just kind of take a step back and reevaluate the entire series? Like, for example, can't you just make the entire game in 2D and just be done with that with the old school Sonic the Hedgehog? I mean, that'd be awesome. When I was playing through Sonic Generations, I loved those stages. I thought they were really well done. I like them a whole fucking bunch. And then when I see the handheld offerings, I realize that you haven't skipped a beat or lost your touch. It's just that you're not putting them onto the mainstream consoles where the vast majority of fans are going to be going and scooping them up and playing them. And then I also think about, why don't you give that a break? And I know Sonic the Hedgehog fans will go and fucking be like, ah, and complain about that. But hear me out. We've been getting tons of those games. What about Alex Kidd? Wouldn't that be nice for that to make a comeback? What about Golden Axe? Mm, that, that, that'd be kind of cool and not fucking Beast Rider for the love of fucking God, not, not Beast Rider. Every time I just... <sighs> the Shinobi games, again, would be really cool. Everybody likes playing as a ninja and there's numerous different Shinobi games from, you know, the arcade offerings to the Genesis offerings all the way up until like PlayStation 2 and like... And those ones are all different, and you could go in all sorts of different directions with those. What about Decap Attack? Starring Chuck D. Head. Decap Attack was really cool, and granted, you know, all it was was a remake of another game, but that doesn't matter because they turned it into its own intellectual property, and it was absolutely amazing. I, I loved the fuck out of it. I really did. And, you know, what about Virtual On? Or try remaking the original Burning Rangers. Great fucking game, but just wasn't fully thought out and seen through. And I, I want to like the game, you know. But that could just capitalize so well off of brand new hardware. A fucking proper follow-up to Altered Beast? I love the idea of Altered Beast. Power up. Power up. Like, that shit would be amazing. All the transformations would look so fucking badass nowadays. You know, Ristar. Ristar is pretty fucking unknown. Dynamite Heady, again, pretty unknown. Both of those are really good games and are just fucking amazing. But, you know, just a one and done type deal. And that, that I don't know, it just makes me kind of sad faced with Power Frown. Comic Zone. Fucking motherfucking Comic Zone. Vector Man, I don't give a fuck. You have so many franchises over there. It just blows my mind. Like, why, why are you doing this? Give me more Streets of Rage, for fuck's sake! And I said that so many times when I did the Streets of Rage playthrough, so... Yeah, if you haven't seen that, I played through Streets of Rage 2. Game's so amazing. But, maybe it's time for Sega to let Sonic just take a break. Or maybe you need to just reevaluate what the fuck made the Sonic the Hedgehog games so special. Uh, for example, look at the original three. They completely revolutionized the entire industry and turned it on its head. They made Sega a household name single-handedly. And Sonic the Hedgehog is one of the most recognized characters in the entire world. So do you want to go and throw that away by just churning out shit game after shit game or just average? Sonic the Hedgehog should not fucking be average. Let's get that perfectly fucking clear. The Sonic the Hedgehog games are amazing, but 
when you're making something like Sonic 06, it's clear that you just pushed it right out the door without even thinking about it. Sonic and the fucking Secret Na Rings and, and the Black Knight? What, what the fuck were you even thinking when you made those? They were fucking terrible! And then Sonic Boom, I was legitimately excited for! I was honestly fucking stoked! I had a bunch of faith in the game, and then it came out! I was like, oh... 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 Uh -uh. I just want to take a taser to my fucking testes! <laughs> that would seem like a much better experience! I'd rather somebody shit into a condom and beat me over the fucking head with it than to remember most of these fucking games! It makes no sense, Sega! It's Sega! Sega! What the fuck are you doing? You know, and I know that it, there's all sorts of shit going on over at Sega, but I, I'm, I'm just talking about their main fucking go-to golden boy, Sonic the Hedgehog. You really need to give this game a fucking break. Apparently, you're working on another one for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and potentially it'll be coming out on Wii U, maybe, possibly, who knows. But, can you just get this shit right? Can you look at the fucking reviews? Can you look at the fan backlash? Can you look at the fact that you are a fucking meme? People don't even want to play the games because they automatically assume that they're bad now. That's fucked up. I mean, when you put out a good game, nobody will really know because you sullied the reputation so much. And again, you want to know what? There's going to be people who see this video and automatically click thumbs down because they are a diehard true blue blur fanboy of Sonic the Hedgehog. And if you're really a fan, tell me this. Why would you accept less for a franchise that you revere and love so much? If you value Sonic the Hedgehog, why would you not want to go and tell Sega to make it the best possible? Why would you defend mediocrity or even just fucking flat out shit? Why would you defend it? Don't sit there and make excuses for a company because you like them. Hold them up to a high value that they once held themselves up to and they no longer give a shit about. Now they're going to be concerned with just making little fucking bullshit mobile games. Sonic Jump. Yeah, I, this is so fucking fu It's really not. Fucking stupid. Lazy ass backwards game logic does not apply to me and that's how you lose me as a fan and that's how you lose millions of others because I'm not the only one with this sort of mindset. And all those series, seriously, come, like, think about this for a sec. Comic Zone, Altered Beast, Decap Attack, Ristar, Burning Rangers, fucking just like, all that whole list. The fucking Streets of Rage, just so many fucking games, that virtual odd, like, why? Can't you work on those for a while? You'll put all this effort into one series, and you're still fucking it up. How do you put so much effort and resources and money into one thing and still manage to fuck it up? It, it would be fine. If you were making nothing but Sonic the Hedgehog games and they were nothing but amazing, I'd at least be able to give you a fucking passing grade on that because I'd see, hey, you at least are doing a good job on this, but you're not. It's like, for every two or three shitty Sonic the Hedgehog games, we get one good one. What the fuck? That's how you end up imploding as a company and somebody else has to go and pick you up and shit and go dust you off and like, all right, we'll go and fix you. Potentially, maybe. I mean, the namesake still holds value, but it's not going to with the direction that you've been putting it, which is directly south. Anyhow, opinions on this, please! Just, what do you think? Do you think Se Sega really needs to go and give Sonic the Hedgehog a break in general? Do you think they need to hand it off to another company? Do you think that they need to go back to the old school mentality? Do you think that they can really pull off a 3D Sonic the Hedgehog game? Do you think that they need to just work on other franchises which have basically become abandoned IPs, by the way? And I thought Atlas was supposed to be working on some of your abandoned fucking intellectual properties that you haven't fucked with for a while, but none of that has been done yet? I thought that's what one of the major benefits of this merger and it hasn't happened. I, I don't know. Opinions, people fucking discuss this because I think it's something worth discussing. Even if certain fanboys out there aren't going to be happy to hear it, but they should be honest with themselves. Again, if you value the company, you have to hold them up to a standard, not excuse all their fucking shitty practices. Anyway, this is Alpha Omega Sin, as always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers game the fuck on.